All right, hi there everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's a bit breezy today, so I hope the wind is not uh, overpowering the audio. Uh, but anyway, let's get into things. So you may be seen in my, one of my recent videos that I did some cable management on the uh, Lunt scope, and today we're going to tackle the Edge 11. So here it is under its covers, and uh, first thing is obviously, let's get the covers off. So again, I've got multiple covers on the scope, really just to try and weatherproof it. So the first one is just a big swing chair cover, which is to keep the most of the elements out. And then I've got a solar scope, oh, sorry, a cover, astro cover, telescope cover, whatever you want to call it. And finally, we've got the old tower to keep the moisture. Okay, so here we are. So again, on the Edge 11, I've got the cameras. This is the ASI 2600 uh, MC. Then I've got a guide camera, which I think is an ASI 120 mm, it could be. Or a 174 mini, it might be actually. I've uh, got the Celestron focuser. Um, we've got dew heaters on the uh, front end of the camera. A, I've got a ZWO filter drawer in here, so just in front of that I've got a, a dew band, and then I've got a dew band on the optics of the guide camera on the OAG. And the reason I've done that is obviously if I'm taking in and out filters and there's also air gaps around the filter, uh, any moisture that gets in there uh, will hopefully that'll help prevent it condensing onto the, the scope, uh, the optics. And then on the front of the telescope, it's been pushed back by the cover, but I've got the Astroshap uh, dew shield with the dew heater, and then I've got my dew controller uh, stuck to the side of the OTA, and then obviously I've got a CGXL mount with all the cables rooting down. Now I've already done some cable management on this uh, previously so this is the, the USB cables and the power cables for the camera uh, going through the braided sleeve uh, so today what I'm planning on doing is again cutting down the bundle of cables that I've got on the uh, dew heater or all the dew heaters and also uh, I've got another set of these uh, cable guides that I made up uh, similar for the uh, ASI 533 camera uh, but these ones are slightly larger uh, for the 2600 so these are the 90 millimeter guides and uh, again I've got the, the cable uh, relief for the cover uh, over the back of the USB ports so they are to go onto the camera. So if if you did see the previous video, one of the things I did first was obviously to move the focuser all the way out to get the maximum distance I needed for the cables. And obviously we don't have that same problem uh, with the uh, Edge 11, because uh, obviously the focuser's inside the OTA. But what I do need to factor in is the use of my 0.7 Celestron uh, reducer. So this goes obviously on the front of the OTA into the optical train. So what I'm going to need to do is drop off the camera, the OAG, install this so that we can get the correct distance uh, for the cables. So that's what I'm going to do now. So just loosening the thumb screws on the OAG allows me to release the screw onto the uh, plate of the back of the OTA without having to try and rotate all the cameras and cables. Next, we'll get the 0.7 reducer. This screws directly onto the OTA. And screw the camera back on. Okay, and then I can just tighten the thumb screws again, just to hold everything in place. And then this was the third dew band that I've got in the rear of the telescope just to sit around the optics 
of the reducer and there we have it so what I need to do now is take all these cables down and do the big bundle of excess and work out how I'm going to route them so what I'm thinking of doing I'm going to take them under here and behind the uh, focuser and that way I can also secure them onto the handle uh, of the OTA and that little bit of velcro that I had up there will do fine just now for holding that in place and one thing I also need to consider is for the guide camera sometimes I need to rotate the OTA uh, sorry, rotate the OAG so that I can find a star to guide on uh, particularly when I'm doing uh, the deep uh, focal length, so the 2800 millimeters. If there's not a lot of stars in the area then it occasionally, uh, but very rarely, I can't find a star to guide on and by rotating the OAG is uh, a way to solve that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosen the thumb screws again and I'm going to rotate the camera so that I know that I've got enough to do the furthest distance away on the OTA, on the OAG, sorry, and then tighten the thumb screws down. All right, so there we have it. So that is the length of cables that I need, and I'll just put a little bit of pull on there just to take away the tightness, and that'll do fine. So now we need to look at where I'm going to cut the cables. So I've got them in behind this cable, but obviously I've got the excess there, so I'm just going to temporarily unplug these. These are the cables for the StarSense unit and the, the focuser. And then now, for each of these cables, I can find their appropriate lengths and cut them to size. take the front dew shield out of the way first so all these cables will come along here and we look back onto the plugs so I reckon if I cut all these cables here providing everything is sitting okay that's the place to do it so we'll one two three so that's those cables cut to the right lengths I need them can remove these plugs and then lastly we've got the dew shield cable so it's a nice short one so I'll leave a little bit of excess there remove that that is all the cables cut to the right length so now I can go and take off all the uh, dew straps and take the dew shield as well and we're going I'll go inside and I'll go and solder the connections on the same as I did in the last video. So, I'll be back soon. One done, two done, three done, four done. So there we have it, that's uh, all the four dew bands connected up and I've put a red connector on the one for the dew shield so I know that that's the one at the front and uh, yeah, I can't believe I made three mistakes. For some reason, unknown to me, I put female sockets instead of male sockets on three of the connectors so I don't know what it was what I was thinking, I don't know if it's because I'd taken a red one out first and just automatically picked up black ones but there were the black ones out the wrong tray or what but uh, that's a good reason why uh, we leave a little bit extra on the cables but fortunately I was managed to uh, salvage uh, the connections and I only had to trim back one of them about five six millimeters something like that uh, just to clean up the end and uh, yeah correct connectors on all four now
So I've checked the resistance through the bands and everything's good, there's no short circuits. So uh, yeah, we'll get down to the scope and get them fitted. All right, so here we are back at the scopes and now we can fit the Jew bands. And the first one I'm going to put on is the Jew shield for the front. And I'll go into here. Next one is the long one for the reducer. Then we've got the two small ones. I think these are both the same length. Just check, yep. One for the guide camera. And the last one for the front the filter. Wonderful. So the next thing I'm going to do is fit the cable gu the cable guides. square to the camera and I can put the guide OAG back where I normally sit square. And then lastly I can just secure the braid using these big long cuts. Making sure I'm not obstructing the Events for the camera. Okay. Excellent. So that's us in a step in the right direction. So the only things I need to do is uh, obviously get shorter cables for the focuser and the star sense, and that'll tidy up that bit. So uh, all good. All right, so what I'll do is I'll, again, I'll put the links to the Tinkercad files with these cable guides, uh, sorry, the cable guides uh, in the description for the video. And in terms of today's task, I think that's a success, apart from screwing up three cable connections and had to redo them. Uh, but other than that, all seems to have gone fine. So thank you very much for watching. Take care, everyone. Hope to see you soon in the next video and uh, clear skies.